we are going to discuss ventilator associated pneumonia primarily because it's such a common and such a major problem in the intensive care units uh, of all the ICUs in the world today. The objectives of this presentation is that we will learn the importance of ventilator associated pneumonia, we will know the definition, we will see the epidemiology and the risk factors, more importantly we will look at the possible ways in which we can diagnose it and of course above everything we will know how to treat, uh, what are the management strategies and how do we prevent ventilator associated pneumonias. So, if you look at the uh, varying studies which have come out in the world, uh, it has shown that the incidence and crude mortality rates associated with uh, ventilator associated pneumonias is a very high one and uh, right from 1992 to the early 2000s, uh, it has shown uh, variable but high incidence of both uh, of the incidence as well as the mortality of ventilator associated pneumonias. Now, the reason why it has shown variable incidence we will allude to in a short while from now, but uh, when we assess the attributable mortality to VAP as compared to the matched case control studies, then we realize that nosocomial pneumonia is a major contributor to the death in the intensive care units. And uh, amongst the various intensive care units, the national nosocomial infection surveillance study had shown that uh, the neurosurgical ICU has a higher incidence of uh, uh, ventilator associated pneumonias as compared to some other ICUs like the coronary care etcetera for obvious reasons that these are more sicker patients, they are unconscious, they are highly likely to have tracheotomies and uh, been on longer term mechanical ventilators. So, if we start off with the definition of what is a ventilator associated pneumonia. Theoretically, it is obviously an inflammation of the lung parenchyma caused by infectious agents which are not present or incubating when the mechanical ventilation was started. So, that is the uh, word wise definition of ventilator associated pneumonia, but uh, they are then divided into two uh, types early onset and late onset. Essentially, they have to start off more than 48 to 72 hours after the tracheal intubation and the early onset ones are those which are occurring within the first 4 days after intubation and the late onset ones are those which are occurring 5 or more days after intubation and the differentiation is made primarily because the early onset VAPs are uh, likely to have a better prognosis and they are likely to have more antibiotic sensitive bacteria. But